Hello, I'm all about 78 fan, and today we're going to do a commentary on Doodle Tones. Let's, let's get ready, shall we? Do you mind if I jump in and do a collab with you? Sure, why not? The link in the description is only there to see the source material. Do not under any circumstance go to these people with the intent to be a dick. I don't support rich hunts or lynch mobbing, so don't be either. As for the subjects themselves, my video is for the purposes of criticism and entertainment. Take care and leave it. My content is not here to start drama. Please do not treat it like it is. Okay. Yeah, guys, don't start drama. Even though the day after, after this video, when somebody did a commentary on this video, I made a podcast basically debunking his points, which in turn started drama. So this is a response, a rant, and a commentary on a group of 4chan posts talking about the Powerpuff Girls 2016 reboot and how much it sucks. Because of course they are. God, I thought we were over this, but no, I guess there's some new controversy that people continue to blow out of proportions because we need to find reasons to hate the show because it's a reboot of a popular franchise and reboots are Satan or some shit. You know, I don't have a Powerpuff Girls fan, fans, you know, uh, about this subject, it goes back to the Transformers, so yeah, I can understand why they'll, they'll be pissed off about it. So there's a character by the name of Jared Shapiro who was added to the show, and everyone just kind of believes it's a self-insert fan character of one of the writers, Jake Goldman, without really looking at all the evidence that's there. And so here's where I come in, because yeah, this is the same kind of utter retardation we saw with the twerking scene and the no make gusta and whatever fake controversy was out there that was used as kind of obviously a smear campaign against the new Powerpuff Girls. Refer to my last statement. Also, I gotta love the petitiveness of it all, on what Jesus said there. Like, oh, people blow this out of proposals because of the new Powerpuff Girls, so... So what? They have a right not to like the zone to point out the flaws with it. Yeah, smear campaign against the cartoon. Who would have thunk it? I should also mention I haven't actually watched any episodes with this character in it. However, with just a little bit of digging, a lot of that 4chan post doesn't add up as they're kind of- Well, you haven't watched a s any episodes with this character? I mean, where's the logic behind that? You're trying to defend something when I'm watching the episode. That's like me saying, I'm- My favorite LMP episode is Hurricane Farsight because I watch reviews on our YouTube. It does not make any sense at whatsoever just jumping to conclusions too quickly, I think. So let's go down the list of evidence and point out why I personally think everyone is continuing to blow this out of proportion with evidence that, while is not unfounded, is extremely flimsy at best. So going down the list, we see someone say, one of the writers wrote an obvious self-insert, voiced it, and wrote it so that Blossom had a crush on the OC. This character only shows up in episodes that this specific writer writes for and is never mentioned otherwise. So we got a checklist. Obvious self-insert, Voiced it, only shows up in episodes Goldman writes. Okay, first of all, how is it obvious? Doodles, you just said it yourself! So why are you asking the question? Is there a lot of personality traits given to Jared that Jake also has? How would anyone know this? Do you know Jake Goldman personally and see a bunch of similarities between him and the character? Stating that it's this obvious kind of brings this whole thing into question as it's not very clear on what it means. Yes, this is semantics and it is a bit of nitpicking, but if you're gonna make such a blanket statement like that, whose sole purpose is to incriminate the show's writer and the show as a whole, you're really gonna need something else to back it up. He like what? Be a recording of an interview of of somebody asking, Excuse me, but do you have a black quest on Blas Blossom? And the guy says yes? Voiced it. So? You guys are aware this is not Jake Goldman's first role, right? It may be his biggest role, but it's certainly not his first time he's ever been in a voice role. He played a character named Saki within a movie called Trouble with Turkle. Now, I haven't seen the movie, nor will I pretend that I have, so I don't know what this character was in that, but given that Jared isn't his first role, something tells me that they were just looking for a person with his voice range to voice the nerdy little boy. But how could we know what was the character type that they were looking for? I mean, heck, he couldn't play, like, a fat kid in the movie. I don't know. The movie you were talking about. Also, if they were just looking for uh, I don't know, like a guy to voice the character, then why did not I want the guy from the Transformers series? And my opinion is more logical than this. But we'll get back to this later, I promise. Finally, let's look at only shows up in episodes Goldman writes. You know, except in season 2 episode 3, where Jared shows up with no Goldman to be seen in the writing credits. But alright, you know, Snow Month. Uh, the first episode that Jared appears in. Goldman had to write for that, right? Uh, except no, he's not one of the main writers of that episode. Now, someone could argue that he was an additional writer, according to IMDb, except no, the actual episode doesn't even credit him as a writer for his debut episode. 
I would go through other examples to see if these two aren't the only ones people miss, but honestly, I just got through binge watching six episodes of My Little Pony for a point. I ain't doing it for Powerpuff Girls. Wow. Okay, just wow. You're willing to watch My Little Pony Princess and Magic, which is basically 22 minutes, I may remind you, but you can't watch Powerpuff Girl, which was like 11 minutes per episode. Wow, that's just sad and pathetic. Let's continue. He looks like the guy, seems to be the next complaint. Right, because curly hair and glasses can only belong to one guy, right? No, you shouldn't just make assumptions like that. Curly hair and glasses don't mean shit and you know it. This was obviously designed this way on purpose due to the nature of the character being a nerdy stereotype. Come on guys, this shouldn't be that hard. I'll save this on the side for later too. And finally, the name is similar. This is where my skepticism towards the whole thing peaked. Because people heard that and didn't blink an eye. Jared Shapiro, Jake Goldman. How are those names similar to your dinguses? Okay, um, the first, uh, the, the, the first name has the three letter of the same name, okay? So there you go. Oh, they both start with a J? That's the only thing I can come up with regarding this demented logic. Guess Twilight Sparkle is a Terra Strong self-insert because they both start with a T. Like, I don't get how you hear two actually vastly different names and come up to the conclusion that, yup, this is it. This is a self-insert. One of the writers is clearly an autist and is probably a pedophile. I threw in that last part in there, but I hope you get what I mean. This is retarded. Well, you know, this, this is what my point is likely about in this video, so thank you for pointing that out. So, um, so what are my fine thoughts if, you, if anybody's wondering? Because of response video, of tuning Tono um, on this video is the reason why I'm joining the RCC. So thank you Tono Tones. Thank you for thank you for helping me making my decision.